Uh, but uh, oil is up today, a dollar two cents per barrel, uh, a percentage increase of one point two six percent. Oil is at eighty one dollars and seventy five cents per barrel of WTI sweet crude oil. I'd buy that. Oh Jesus! All right. H T T P S dos puntos barra barra w w Hey asshole! Okay, look, I forgot to take the goddamn text to speech off movie night and it's a she-male video you stupid jerk i'm sorry we even have to deal with this stuff man i, f- I completely forgot to turn the crap off i d- dude you see what i'm saying all the prep work that i've got to do for the show and the minute details that you know kind of fuck the whole thing up man all right uh anyway uh let me try to continue before these assholes start you know raking in the the dumbassery when it comes to text-to-speech uh, but let's make a transition into gold, folks, or excuse me, crypto, I should say. Uh, crypto right now, not looking too good. Highest credit, all right, highest credit debt in American history, the consumer right now. All right? <laughs> oh, I'd Jesus Christ. Right Come on, man. Shut up, you freaking idiot. Jesus Christ. Anyway, sorry, folks. I had forgotten to turn off the damn text to speech, and the official shekel counter is like, well, turn it off now then. Yeah, great. And then President Jay over there at Rumble saying, get on with the news. I am. All right, you jerk dick. Anyway, once again, uh, Bitcoin hovering around under 60, a little over 60. Uh, so let me explain something. That, that is uh, a traumatic downturn. And just imagine all the schmucks that bought at over 70K. Just imagine all these people. The guy that uh, bought it at 71. The guy that bought it at 72. <laughs> oh, Jesus fucking Christ. I'm sorry, folks. All right. Hey, guys. How much prep does this boomer need? Under canonism, it takes very little to gather up the chocolates, what? browns, vanillas, and bananas. They're all race-coded, you know. Oh, and God. believe me, I'm sorry. they don't scream at night. They're used to my pony cock. All right, that's enough. All right, that was inappropriate. Look, if you're going to text a speech today, at least say something positive. And I don't mean HIV positive, all right? All right, ixnay on the negativity. Jesus Christ, it's the true capitalist radio show, you damn trolls. All right, anyway, look, that's the markets for you. All right, I don't want to cover too much of it because we got a lot to cover when it comes to the regular stuff. All right, so let's transition. I'd buy that. Oh, great. Two grandpas arguing over fear vision for the future of this country without a live audience in the debate. Can't wait to sleep through it. Hey, Justin Carvalot, I'm considering possibly covering that. It's going to be this Thursday night. I don't want to get ahead of myself. Uh, but thank you, Justin Carvalot. Uh, but let's go ahead and get to some domestic and political news that are happening on the domestic front. First thing I want to cover here, which is very interesting, because we may be going into another pandemic, whether it's bird flu or, I don't know, they found some flesh-eating disease over there that's killing people in Japan. Uh, They got all kinds of stuff going on. So it's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. Masks are now going from mandated to criminalized only in this fucking screwball America. I can tell you that right now. (laughs) All right. No, no. Skip that's racist crap. Happy 700th Boomer. Also sniped. Shut up, you stupid racist prick. I'm not allowing racism on this broadcast, all right? I'm a melting pot of friendship. All you got to do is Google melting pot of friendship, and I come up, all right? Anyway, Anibis, looking forward to the presidential debate on Thursday. MAGA and Methna Biden is going to be some <laughs> shit-slinging that, circus. Hold on, what is this? B for Buckethead, B, 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 Sir B, Rubbish B, of Bucket B, World, B, by the way, B, whoever the hell this B, is, is spamming B. B, 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 B Must be a 4chan B, B, B tard or something. And we got Capitalist B, Squirrel, I'll get to yours in a second, and shut up! Jesus Christ. Anyway, once again... The lunacy that was mask mandating is now being criminalized. Isn't it ironic? Don't you think? Uh, Five Finger Prostate Punch, you can turn off TTS, please. I want to hear the serious stuff. I don't think it's going to be as crazy today, if you want my personal opinion. All right. 
Uh, put the PC shot on. I want to say cheers to the latest member of the tr- uh, True Capitalist Radio membership chat room. We had a great chat last night about some very serious subjects. Uh, most of the folks that are in there kind of know what the hell I'm going to talk about today. Uh, but cheers to V-Goat. And here's Capitalist Squirrel. Don't let that distract you from the fact that we are an ongoing, we're having an ongoing pandemic of ghost turning his fans trans. Oh, here we go with this shit. Uh, stocks are up in super male vitality while, uh, while you still can. It makes you immune to his tran rays as Infowars is shutting down after years of ripping Ghost off. Well, I'm glad you brought that up. I wasn't really going to talk about it, but yeah, Alex Jones has been forced now to liquidate Infowars in order to pay the one over $1 billion payout that is owed to the Sandy Hook families. Uh, So, you know, that's going on with Alex Jones at this point in time. And trolling the interwebs with a rumble rant, it's obvious the bullshit about masks is about politicians just feeling in control. Total sociopathic behavior. You're exactly right, trolling the interwebs. I remember Gretchen Whitmer over there in uh, Michigan acting like some tyrant. All right? Typical woman leadership. And others that were across the nation that were using this mask bullshit as a means to pry into our lives. I completely agree. Cheers to trolling the interwebs, and thank you for tuning in with us today. Uh, Once again, I do want to remind everybody, uh, consider becoming a True Capitalist Radio Basic member or an advanced member. Uh, The chat room on the bottom left-hand corner of the screen is exclusively the members. And I will be in the member chat room for a little bit after this broadcast. So cheers to everybody out there who's a part of the member chat room. Uh, It is... A very, very serious chat room. So if you're a troll or if you're going to go in there and cause any kind of drama, forget about it. You're going to be kicked out of there. All right? You're going to be kicked out of there. So with that being said, all right, we were talking a little bit about masks. Let's talk a little bit about politics. Now, we are talking about how the presidential debates are on Thursday. I'm not really looking forward to them. As you all know, I'm not very happy with the current candidacy of either Democrat or Republican. There is absolutely nothing. And by the way, since we're talking about Matt Gates, didn't I tell you back then? <laughs> oh, Jesus. V for Vietnam. V, 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 Anyway, as I was stating, Matt Gates over here trying to reshape the Republican Party. And did y'all remember when they were trying to bring in the Speaker of the House when the new session of the Republican-dominated House began in 2022? You remember it was such a problem to try to elect McCarthy at that time, and it was Matt Gates and the Freedom Caucus preventing such an ease of an election as the Speaker? And I told everybody at the time that the reason Matt Gates is having such a problem is because Matt Gates wanted assurances that he wasn't going to have his improprieties with a 17-year-old girl that he's allegedly sex trafficked to be on the table at all. He wanted all that to go away. What up, Gino? How come you never try to support the idea of more than a two-party system and have multiple options, like Canada? If you don't like the Republican Party, you should encourage new parties. A, uh, a new party system only works at a local level. All right? And when you can only affect a local-based community, I mean, that isn't really affecting the country. And if you want to affect a country with policy, there's only two parties to go to. They have the established, uh, I mean, the established monopoly, I hate to say it, uh, of the party system. There is a Republican and Democrat headquarters in every Democrat and Republican precinct all across America. I mean, that's tens of thousands of headquarters all across the country. How the hell is Exara Hawks? Oh, hold on. This is an audio file, folks. I'm sorry. Here's an audio file. What the hell is this? I'm sorry, man. What is this crap? Sounds like some anime music. What is that really Exara Hawks? It sounds like somebody really playing the piano. It really sounds like somebody playing the piano. Is that the real Exara Hawks? Haven't seen him in like 10 years.
Exora Hawks, that's a name from the past. Oh, jeez. You allowing this TTS shit again in the TCR show? We were doing great with just buy me cough don't nose red by you. You seriously gonna cater to tards again? Oh, Jesus. Thought you said you were done with that. I forgot to do. turn the shit off! You got TGS for that tard shit. Look, I'm moving on, okay? You're the one bringing it up, and you're the one focusing my attention on that shit. All right? So shut up! Anyway, as I was stating, Matt Gates was the guy that almost prohibited McCarthy from being the Speaker of the House, and he was also the guy that helped him oust him as well. And it all comes down to his alleged uh, improprieties with a 17-year-old. And look, I just wanted to reiterate that I, I was right. I told you I was right. Turn it off, 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 turn it off. Why are you donating that and doing it? Shut up! Five-finger prostate punch, you prick! All right, why are you even donating if you don't want it to just shut up? How about that shit? Shut the fuck up! All right, I'm sorry, folks. You know, I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm trying to get through a goddamn show here. But anyway, I want to show McCarthy here in a recent interview that validates what I had suggested ever since the beginning that Matt Gates was in opposition to McCarthy being the speaker because he wanted McCarthy to brush that shit under the rug. Brush it under the rug. So take a look at this. Here it is. Here it is. So was it this? You made a lot of concessions. I mean, this guy, with all due respect, was one of the forefront uh, opposition. <laughs> oh, she, dude, come on, man! I will spam this until you turn it off, turn dude. it off, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. I don't turn even it know off, why. Off, turn why it off, would turn you do this? Turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. Why would you shut up? Why would you do this shit, man? Why don't you just sit there and listen to the goddamn broadcast instead of fucking it up? Jesus Christ, look, and if it isn't Matt Gates, you know, sex trafficker, it's these stupid bimbos that we have in the Republican Party, like Majorie Taylor Green, that stupid, you know, disgusting, half a man looking broad, and then we got this bitch, Lauren Boebert, put the PC shot on, Lauren Boebert is feeling the heat in Colorado, and that's because, I'd buy that oh, Jesus. Wait a minute, take Take this shit off. Take that shit off. Now take that to damn docks, Tokyo Rose, you piece of shit. Look, everybody just stop, all right? Cut the crap. I'm trying to do a show here, all right? I'm trying to do a serious show. This is why I'm telling you, you all keep this up, man. I may not do a damn ghost show for a minute. I may do nothing but True Capitalist Radios. I may do that shit again, all right? So this is your last fucking warning, assholes. But anyway, the reason Lauren Bo- Oh, God. I'd buy that for a dollar. You gotta be fucking kidding oh, me, nice. dude. It's true capitalist radio. You gotta be kidding me. Nap Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z and what is this, Mega Max 578? Can this boomer, uh, dumbass boomer tar do something with those donos? He can't make excuses like a bitch. You just, yeah, thanks a lot for the buck, all right? Mega Max, you fucking foot fetish loving fruit bowl. I don't get it, Mega Max. I get it. You know, you like feet, but it's a stinky, smelly athletic foot, all right? You gonna get athlete's foot on your privates or something? Anyway, I don't want to know. Anyway, Lauren Boebert, the reason she's feeling the heat is because. The district that she represents now. What the fuck, dude? Fucking racist crap! Come on! Why are y'all doing this shit, dude? Why are y'all doing this? I'm trying to do a show. I'm trying to give you the straight political dope here. Why the fuck would you ruin it by spamming dumb shit like this? Anyway, she's not even rep. Oh God! I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh God! All right, let's see what the hell this is. All right, I have to take a couple of donos anyway. All right, let's see what this is here. I'm sorry, folks, that we're interrupting the broadcast for this crap, but you know, it is what it is. And dude, the graphic user interface for buy me a coffee. Come on, Maine. Anyway, Hassan, do you think Biden 
is letting the border open to draft all those men and women into World War III. I don't think it's only for votes anymore. Well, it's, it kills a lot of birds with one stone there, Hassan. Aside from it replacing the labor force of native-born Americans who've refused to work and are all a bunch of game-playing, <laughs> anime-loving pricks. For a dollar. Hold on, this is, a, this is an audio file, folks. I'm sorry. I think it is Azora Hawks, dude. I haven't seen Exora Hawks in I don't know how long. Cheers to Exora Hawks. Cheers to Exora Hawks. He used to be our resident penis. Do you remember that? He used to be our resident penis. Cheers to Exara Hawks, man. Long time no see, man. Oh, God. TTS is for tards. Turn it off. Cut TTS now. No TTS on TCR. Dude. TTS. Cancel TTS. Look. Exit TTS. Quit TTS. Shut the fuck up. Oh, God. Come on. Everyone spam W until he turns it off. W W W W W W. You don't tell me what the fuck to do, you fucking scumbag. You don't tell me what to do. Shut up! Listen, if y'all are y'all are gonna piss me off. Hold on, this is another audio file, folks. You look like Mark Vaughn with a wig. The following is intended only for mature audiences. Oh no! Discretion advised. Please no. Hey, Vaughn, look, man. You, now, you, Ghost, you address me properly, okay? MarkVaughn.live. All right, look, MarkVaughn.live. I'm about to perform some kind of homosexual act on you. Whoa, whoa. Oh, Sorry, man, those oh, oh, Black Lives Matter. Here I come. Here I come. Oh! Whoa! You stupid fucking piece of shit! God damn it! You stupid fucking shit! I'm tired of this shit! Listen, cut the crap now, or I'm getting the fuck out of here! Dude, you cut the shit! And I'm not joking, cut the crap now, or I'm getting out of here! Son of a bitch. And we got Twinkle Tard with a $10 Rumble rant over there at Rumble. Hey, Ghost, happy 700th episode. I wanted to know if Devious Dave ever had polio. It would explain why his middle leg is so short. Well, I don't know about that with Devious Dave, but thank you, Twinkle Tard, for the 700 appreciation. I mean, you're the only one here that's appreciated. Everybody's being a scumbag! So thank you very much there, Twinkle Tar. Cheers to you. All right. And uh, we've got Mega Max. Can you please turn them off? Uh, listen, why don't y'all stop donating and let me do my fucking show, you jerk dicks? How about that? Anyway, Hassan, as I was stating, all the immigrants that are coming in are replacing the native-born Americans who refuse to work. Take a look at the work participation amongst people that are born in this country. I mean, it is so low that now illegal immigrants, foreign-born immigrants, have now surpassed native-born Americans when it comes to the workforce to represent us in Congress, and we want her out of here. And, you know, I hope that Florida, or excuse me, Florida, I hope that Colorado is serious, all right? And Mega Max, I'm not making excuses, you fucking foot fetish freak. <laughs> oh, God. Here's Bit Can salesman. Dollar. That's great. How do you call him? Oh, no, no, no. Will the defendant please stand oh, up? Oh, God. Listen, listen, I'm not joking around. If y'all keep up with this crap, I'm going to fucking leave. All right? I'm going to fucking leave. Devious day with a rumble rant. Don't spend too much money, Twinkle Tard. You don't want to cut into the zebra cake and oatmeal pie fund. All right? So that's Devious Dave there. Anyway, the reason I am so disgusted with this broad... Lauren Boebert is because uh, much like what Jay said was alluding to in the buy me a coffee.
Listen to this once again. Not the softest reference that he could have made, but do you want to talk about the theater thing? Oh, sure. Oh, so, Jesus. Kyle, I, I... Hold on, dude. It can Jesus end if you Christ. just turn TTS off yeah, during TTS. Shut up! All right? Listen to this. Uh, here it is. Talk about the theater thing? Uh, sure. So, Kyle, I, I certainly um, have owned out, uh, owned up to uh, my oh. night out in Denver. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I've gone on that public ad- apology tour, and I'm grateful for the mercy and grace that has been shown, but I'm, I'm not going to uh, continue. Dude. Uh. Hey, guys, since Ghost is still streaming on next, let's donate as much racial slurs as yeah, we can. All right, you shut up, you fucking idiot. All right, shut your mouth. I'll just cut you off. <laughs> I'm just going to cut you people dollar. off. They're not going to stop donating TTS. That's why they're telling you to turn it off. You really going to keep it on for a bunch of tards, man? This is not what Reverend Ralph. What to the fuck the tards? This is a serious show. This, this is mentality. not Reverend you Ralph. and banned on YouTube again. Well, uh, dude, I, I, I did stop donating, you stupid moron. Anyway, listen to Lauren Boebert once again. She is answering like a true leftist. All right. What the hell? Oh, shit. Hold on. Wrong that way. was about the softest reference that he could there have made. Go. But do you want to talk about, about the theater that. thing? And I am abstaining from this election. All right. It's I'm not fucking joking around. For a dollar. Hey, Ghost, I got a joke for you. What's that? What's the hardest part about having sex with <laughs> Deciding where to come in the uh, ash pile. Dude, I don't want to hear that shit, you sick anti-Semitic piece of trash, all right? And trolling the interwebs with another $10 rumble rant, uh, she seems like she gives the worst BJ you ever had, complaining the whole time, and then asks why you didn't finish. <laughs> He's talking about Lauren Boebert, of course, all right? Anyway, that touche, they're trolling the interwebs, all right, touche. Anyway, if it isn't the Freedom Caucus, and if it isn't these dumbass hypocrites that are in the Republican Party, it's Donald Trump, all right? Anyway, for all you MAGA people that thought that you were going to vote for Trump because he was going to close the border, he was going to do this, he was going to do that, I think that you all are sadly mistaken. Hold on, this is an audio file, folks. Fuck the bond shot! Fuck the bond shot, cause they gain shit! Fuck! Fuck the bond shot! Fuck the bond shot, cause they gain shit! Hey, dude, that's my song! Fuck the bond shot! Fuck them! Fuck them! I said fuck them! Fuck them! Fuck them! I said fuck them! Fuck them! Fuck them! Boss, I don't listen from the bunch that sucks. Pro lapse beats from the bunch that sucks. Yori netting from the bunch that sucks. Cheers, chugging from the bunch that sucks. Over the hill goes from the bunch that sucks. She no gates from the bunch that sucks. Chain self from the bunch that sucks. Go, this is an audio go, file. go, go. That's an audio file of one of my songs. I don't need the money. Oops, I forgot to turn off TTS. Oh, fuck Just you. Just turn it off, ghost, turn it off, uh, dude, turn it off, no, turn what? it off, turn fuck it off. Fuck you, man, fuck you! I'd buy that for a dollar. Base Trump. Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're saying base Trump, Menno Ray. You're selling goddamn oranges on the corner, for Christ's sake. So it um, doesn't surprise me that you're saying base Trump. And that's how tough they are. I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, Jesus Christ. M4 Maga. We won them, 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 Anyway, this is the kind of shit that Trump is saying now. He wants a migrant fight club. All right? Like taking migrants and throwing them into a fight. I mean, give me a break. Isn't that what Dana White is doing now? Most of Dana White's fighters are fucking, you know, from... All over the fucking place. From Brazil. Anyway, once again, meet the double haters. You're looking at one here who could decide the election. You're goddamn right. And now we've got Count Binface over here. Hello. Just wanted to point out that Britain has better politics than the U.S. We at least have the fascists. Britain first. Mongs. What? Tories. And the is faces. It's a parliamentary system. This is why we have more morality and why you Morality? Are you kidding? Emperor. Come on. You can't believe that, Count <laughs> Bidface. Hold on. Here's another audio file by Xara Hawks here. What the hell? What the hell is that? <laughs> Having an autistic meltdown. Sound 
artistic meltdown, for Christ's sake. Oh, my God. This and... Ah, oh, these are fucking ramble, chat. Oh, my God. Anyway, thank you if that's the real Exara Hawks. And then trolling the interweb with a rumble rant, nobody voting for Trump wants to vote for Trump. They just want to vote against the Democratic Party. Well, I don't think it's much of a difference, dude. I mean, trolling the interwebs, I completely understand. But I just don't think it's much of a difference, all right? My thoughts on the show. Yeah, you know what? I I don't give a shit what your thoughts on the show are, all right? I'm not going to go to your fucking link. So sit there and shut up, all right? If you don't like the show, then get out of here. Nobody's asking you to be here, you piece of crap. Jesus Christ. Anyway, look, since nobody gives a shit about what the hell's going on domestically, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the international relations out here, all right? All right, just to let y'all know. Now put the PC... Oh, Jesus Christ. We got Russia 9-11 before GTA 6. Yeah. Uh, yeah, shut up, you idiot. Thank you for the five bucks, too, you stupid moron. Anyway, take a look at this, all right? Now, Putin is on the brink as Russian rebels prepare a decisive move to destroy Kremlin. Two weeks maximum, there's going to be a major terrorist attack that is going to shock the, the United States. I'd buy that for a All right. dollar. It's going to shock the United States. All right. And I hope they target this idiot, whoever the hell's doing this crap. All right. But anyway, once again, I just want to reiterate. All right. The prognosticator is prognosticating something right now. Two weeks, we're probably going to see a major terrorist attack. Now, look, if it's ISIS... It's going to be because we're trying to show the world that we have nothing to do with what's going on in Russia. All right, well, take a look at all these lonely white pricks who all think that they're the second coming of Adolf Hitler, who think that they're doing something by posting a bunch of racist memes, thinking that, I don't know, they're bringing together the Third Reich or some shit. So how many illegal immigrants have to infest America before you can call it an ethnic cleansing like in Europe? Just admit that you are a greasy Mexican man. <laughs> Give me a break. Listen, I'm just simply stating, if you all want to stop the immigration problem, you can. You just don't have the energy or the effort to want to do it. I mean, you'd be electing people that would put policy in place in order for this to happen. As a matter of fact, the Democrats, y'all remember me saying this uh, about a month ago, the Democrats initiated a border bill that had everything the Republicans wanted in it. I mean, border wall, a redefinition of the asylum uh, 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 claims, uh, the uh, th- thousands of more Border Patrol agents at the border. And what did the Republicans do? They said no because the Democrats initiated it, even though they are adamant about wanting the border, something done about the border, they did nothing. So I'm just simply stating, and by the way, it doesn't matter anymore. Uh, Your boy Trump is pro-immigrant anyway. Let me remind you all again, if you weren't here earlier in the broadcast, all right? Just a reminder, uh, Trump is now down with letting immigrants come into the country. So I I don't know, all you people that are pissing and moaning, I think you need to check your boy here now, all right? I think you need to check your boy because he's saying the same shit Ghost is saying, all right? Trump proposes green cards for foreign grads of U.S. colleges departing from anti-immigrant rhetoric. All right? So don't come at me. All right? Even Trump is now understanding that, yeah, um, we can't really make it with the uh, American people here. All right? I mean, they were stupid for letting me go ahead and close down the whole country. They were stupid for letting me go ahead and inject them with some experimental injection. They were very stupid. They were very stupid people. And he knows it. He knows you're stupid. And uh, official Shekel counter, you're sure, trust me, bro. Yeah, okay, well, then then go get yourself a white woman. You know, don't trust me. If you don't trust me, fine. But guess what? No white woman is ringing your bell, is it? Huh? No, no white person, no white woman is going out there saying, hey, I love you. I want you to impregnate me. And that's why you're here talking all your garbage. That's why you're here talking all your garbage. Well, you know what? Give me your energy. I like it. <laughs> huh? Anyway, let's let's talk a little bit about China, all right? Now, 
very funny thing happened, and we talked about it on the last show, that Putin went to North Korea to beg little Kim for weapons. Oh, Jesus Christ. What is it? Does that mean I can count on your support this November? You and your inner circle and capitalist army would be very welcome. Yeah, I am not. Look. I was all for Robert Kennedy Jr. during the COVID nonsense because his organization, the I think the Children Health uh, Fund, I think is what it's called, he, his organization was the only one that was going out there suing governments, state and municipal governments that were implementing these ridiculous mask mandates and all this other bullshit. So I respected him for that. I actually donated to his damn nonprofit organization because he was doing these, this type of work. Now, him as a presidential candidate, I don't think so, all right? He's a Green New Dealer, first of all, and secondly, I'm not down with his foreign policy, all right? His foreign policy is a lot similar to Ron Paul, and I was never a fan of Ron Paul's foreign policy, all right? I mean, what was Ron Paul's foreign policy? Uh, we got to bring everybody back, and uh, we got to worry about the dollar, and uh, I'm Ron Paul, and... That's all he talked about, man. That's all he talked about was bringing back all the troops back to the United States and us having no influence in the international community, which is would be suicide, if you want my opinion. And we got President Jay Ghost is going to vote for Chase Oliver. I don't even know what the hell that's supposed to mean. Anyway, let's go ahead and get back to the broadcast, all right? Now, as I was stating, Putin went to North Korea groveling, literally on his knees, about to service orally uh, little Kim, because he damn went jump through hoops in that visit to North Korea. And take a look at this. China is watching warily as Putin and Kid forge a new alliance. So it looks like China may, at least at face value, may be backing down a little bit. Maybe backing down, in my personal opinion. I mean, they're not even paying the debts to Russia. That says a lot. And aside from that, uh, guess who is uh, went to go visit Xi Jinping? I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, Hold on, this is another audio file. Andy Dick. Oh, no. No, no! No! shit all right man look I'm, I'm telling you guys dude i'm gonna end this fucking show man i've been on here for an hour and 32 minutes it feels like i've been on for five fucking hours i'm really fucking pissed off you know where's my pipe where's my pipe for christ's sake i'm sorry folks i've got to smoke some tobacco all right i gotta smoke some fucking tobacco just to take the goddamn edge off from these fucking trolls man all right, I got my pipe here. I'm going to smoke some tobacco. I'm sorry I'm doing this in the middle of the show, folks. All right, but I got to I'm I got to take the fucking edge off for Christ's sake, man. You see these damn trolls. I'm over here giving CIA levels of information. CIA levels of assessments. And does anybody give two rats asses? Absolutely fucking not. Absolutely not. Jesus Christ. Hey, look at enemy extremist A.K.A. Winston fucked up Fujimori. Hashtag the hentai right. Fucking asshole. And by the way, this is tobacco. This is not any kind of illegal contraband that I'm consuming. And the strain of tobacco is called Mud Shark Dance Instructor. If FYI, if you wanted to know. All right. So let me take a little bit of a drag here. And I don't mean drag queens or RuPaul shit. And uh, then we're going to get back to talking a little bit about China. All right. Uh, Cheers to everybody out there who is listening. Once again, this is episode 700. 700 episodes of the True Capitalist Radio Show on top of almost 400 ghost shows. So thousands and thousands of hours I've spent on here. Thousands and thousands of hours. Anyway, let me go ahead and uh, and just calm my ass down, take some uh, tobacco. I want to say cheers to everybody out there who is listening. We're going to get back to the Chinese talk and everything that we were talking about in a minute. But I'm, you know, once again, I, I am, uh, I'm getting bombarded by a bunch of trolls here. All right. So I'm going to take a smoke. 
All right, cheers to everybody out there. I and anyway, what is this? Uh, Devious day. What was that audio? You know what it was. All right, you know what it was. Here, let me take a smoke here. <clears throat> got to hold it in. Got to let it hit the brain. You know, <clears throat> hold it in. Let it hit the brain. <clears throat> I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> I warned you to turn it off, turn oh, it off, turn it off, turn it off. Uh, how about off, piss turn off? off? Turn it off, turn it off. Hey, five finger prostate punch! How about piss off? How about piss off, you piece of crap? Anyway, I'm sorry, folks. Let's go ahead and get back to China here. Now, China had a visit from a leader of NATO, all right? Or one of them. It isn't the leader, it isn't Stoltenberg. Uh, but <laughs> I'd buy that Cope and see. A lot of white women aren't attracted to white men because they want a mommy, not a wife. Oh! Stop taking anime so seriously. Thank you! It makes you an awkward, socially inept, estrogen-induced tard. Women repellent. Cheers on the show, Ghost. Appreciate the pearls. Thank you, Cope and C. I'd buy that Thank you, man! Speaking of Andy Dick, what are your thoughts on him, Ghost? What a fall from grace, alright? What a fall from grace is what happened to Andy Dick. I mean, but, you know, what can you say? The guy was always a loose cannon. He was always a little weird. He was always on something. And uh, I'll be honest with you, a complete loose cannon. And it's a shame what happened to him because he was fairly funny. And now, if you take a look at him, uh, he's at some IP2, like, shitter apartment on a fucking piss-stained mattress getting drunk on vodka all day. I'm not even joking around. And Red Eyes Black Dragon with a Rumble Rant, 700 episodes of crap. Uh, yeah, fuck you, asshole, all right? Why the hell are you donating $200, or excuse me, $2, I wish it was $200, $2 worth of Rumble Rant if, if this is crap? How about that shit? Red Eyes Black Dragon, you piece of crap, how about that shit? Anyway, as I was stating, uh, put the PC shot on, leader of NATO member, uh, lead, uh, excuse me, leader of NATO member Poland, visits China to talk to Xi about Ukraine, peace, and trade. Now, the first thing that has happened, you know, I'm reading up as this meeting has been happening here for the past several hours, apparently what uh, Xi wants is he wants this massive tariff that the United States put on electric vehicles from China and the EU has put on electric vehicles from China, and he wants that to be scrapped. He's like, look, EU, scrap the tariffs, all right? And then maybe we could talk about other things. Because Xi is desperate. I just showed you that they're in economic downfall and they need to start selling product. They need to start selling product. What is it, urinator? Hey, Daddy. I just wanted to let you know you left the TTS on. Oh, I figured it would be really, 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 really inconvenient if someone were to donate while you spark. Yeah, of course. Synapses. Yeah, thanks a lot, you prick. I just wanted to let you know before someone interrupts. No, shut. I'm not going to let you say that racist shit, urinator, you piece of crap. All right? I'm not going to let you say that racist shit. Look, if you're going to donate any racism, then get the hell out of here. All right? We're not racist over here in these parts. Do you understand me? Get the hell out of here, or I'm going to end this fucking show! Christ! Anyway, as I was stating before I got rudely interrupted once again by text-to-speech here, uh, Xi Jinping, with this meeting with the president of Poland, he wants the electrical vehicle tariff from the EU scrapped. I don't know, using aggression in the South China Sea over there with Japan? Take a look at this! China Coast Guard said it, quote, I'd buy Oh, that Jesus. For a Congratulations, Ghost, on 700 episodes of totally useless news and homosexual oh, behavior Christ. by turning your fans gay and trans by being a masturbator. Great. Speaking of which, how was Urinator last night? I heard you two were at Pegasus. Dude, shut up, all right, President Jay. I, you know, go shut your stupid, stinking, salmon smelling hole, all right? And we got Valentine Broadcasting. Thanks for doing a TCR today, Ghost, and cheers. Cheers to you, Valentine Broadcasting. And thank you very much for listening. I genuinely appreciate it, all right? But anyway, as I was stating before I got rudely interrupted by President Piece of Shit Jay, a China Coast Guard says it drove away Japanese boats near disputed islands. So now you got ja Japan being like, oh, yeah, you want to be a little bit, uh, you know, testy? Uh, you want to be a little froggy? Then jump, biatch. So I'm telling you right now, China needs to calm its ass down. 
All right, and if there's anything that happens in this region, I think it's open season on China. Now, last month, all right, we had the Pakistani president visit Xi Jinping. <laughs> I'd buy that for a Here's dollar. Twilight Sparkle. The pony community still love you 700 episodes in. Our lovely mares want to give you lots of love and even more massive mare cocks in the future. Oh, lots of love. Christ. Sincerely, Twilight Sparkle Tilda. All right, we didn't need to hear that sick, demented crap, all right? And trolling the interweb, China does the same shit Israel does. Encroachment until it starts a war. That's a very good point. Not, not That's a very good assessment. All right, trolling the interwebs. Cheers to you. Thank you for listening. And we got Eddie 32475A. Is this why Japan has been importing un- urban demographics? Operation... Uh, dude, shut up. I'm not saying that. All right. And, of course, Urinator, uh, gay sexually harassing as usual with a rumble rant. And I'm not even acknowledging that rumble rant, Urinator. All right? You need to take about ten steps away from my freaking butt crack with that homosexual sexual harassment talk. (sighs) All right. Anyway, folks, uh, once again, once Xi Jinping and the Pakistan Prime Minister got together last month, I'm sure China read Pakistan the Riot Act because this Belt Road Initiative and this China-Pakistan Economic Corridor has not come to any kind of manifestation into reality. And the reason is, is because of the massive terrorism that's happening in Pakistan that we've talked about on the show many times. Well, apparently, China has directed Pakistan, look, we're not investing in the Belt Road Initiative, and we're not going to invest in the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor until you do something about terrorism. <laughs> I'd buy that Anonymous for here. In celebration of 700 episodes, when you're finished... How about we get a few minutes of radio graffiti? It started in this show after all. Oh, God. I don't know, man. I, I Dude, look at uh, Anonymous. I appreciate it, man. Cheers to you, and I, I thank you. But take a look at the amount of trolls that are listening to the broadcast. I don't think that would be a, a very good idea. I don't think that would be a very good idea. But thank you. Cheers to you, and I'm glad you're listening, man. Cheers, man. But once again... China has now. Oh God! I'd buy that for a dollar. Mr. Nagasaki. Nuclear free Tibet. The Tiananmen Square protests of 1989. The Tiananmen Square massacre. The anti rightist struggle. The great leap forward. The great proletarian cultural revolution. Human rights. All right. Well, thank you, Mr. Nagasaki. We appreciate it. All right. But like I was telling you, China must have demanded Pakistan do something because look at what's happening. Why an angry China is behind Pakistan's revamped counterterrorism campaign. So as I stated, folks, the prognosticator that prognosticated that China will go into Pakistan, it's about to become reality. It's about, oh, dude, official shekel counter, come on, man. A $20 rumble rent? How dirty do you feel now, Daddy? Let's do some radio graffiti. Don't forget how we first met when you took my anal virginity at the 2015 nightclub stall. I still have the condom we used the one and only time before we kept going wrong. I'm so fucking into you, baby. I cut your name into my arm with my razor. Do you see what I'm saying here with this fucking urinator piece of crap? And I can't believe it. And look, official shekel counter, come on, man. Stop trying to pay me to do radio graffiti, man. Come on, man. Jesus Christ. All right, man. Anyway, um, I, 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 once again, the counterterrorism campaign by Pakistan not doing much. All right, not doing much. And not only is the anti-terrorism not doing much, the people are now starting to go insane in Pakistan. And it all derives from that uh, Imran Khan prime minister debacle. I mean, what they've been saying about us, our enemies, is absolutely correct. I mean, we want destabilization. I mean, it's the whole proverbial how George Bush Jr. said, uh, we're fighting them over there so we don't have to fight them over here. You know what I'm saying? And Five Finger Prostate Punch said, so you're convinced those people to die? Uh, I, I'm not, that's, fuck you, I didn't say that, asshole. All right, just shut your mouth. But take a look at this. The risk of a broader Middle East war is rising. 
All right. Uh, so I believe <laughs> that I if that we were to a God damn it, the old country. The only way to celebrate 700 of something was by slamming the ham. Everyone come together in a oh, hand slamming God. celebration. Can S to slam, 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 S to slam. Shut up! Listen and learn! Israel, or I, I wouldn't say aid Israel. I think that we need to somehow navigate Israel's determination away from what they have now done to Gaza and the Palestinians and go right into Iran and eliminate the problem of Iran for us. And I think that uh, I think that's in the cards right now, if you want my opinion. And once that happens, the whole area will be destabilized, you know, from Yemen, Syria, Lebanon, Iraq, Iran. And you see, I'm not trying to sound like some... <laughs> God you know, damn it, man! God damn it! I am high priest of canonism. I wish that all kiwi farms gather around my house so that as they grate no, my walls, no, I can no, stick the shot no, out of my mouth no, and sh pull the Shut trigger. that up. Shut that shit up. Jesus fucking Christ, you people today, man. Jesus Christ. Anyway, Five Finger Prostate Punch says, Who the fuck is donating as me? And Alexander the Resurrection. By the way, happy 700th episode of TCR. I hope you loved the radio graffiti call, the last show, where Dame Drop shat in your mouth. You're a sick You're a sick asshole. You know that? You're a sick piece of shit. Anyway, did you hear this? Let me, let me roll it back one more again, because there's a reason why they call yours truly the prognosticator of prognosticators. Away right? from what they have now done to Gaza and the Palestinians and go right into Iran. But anyway, the candidates for president right now in Iran, not wooing anybody, not making anybody feel funny in the pants. So pretty demoralized situation right now with Iran. And not only is it a demoralizing situation with Iran. Holy shit! The Northern Yankee with a hundred dollar bill! Cheers to the Northern Yankee! You're making all of our Mondays better. Finish your report and prognostication. Keep giving your CIA levels of assessment and capitalizing. After, please do a radio graffiti. All right. Have I smoke I, on me. I guess Cheers, I pretty baby. much have Cheers. to. I guess I pretty much have to do a radio graffiti for episode 700. You see, y'all are making me look like a whore now. You see that, man? Now y'all are making me look like a fucking whore. Jesus Christ. All right. I'm, no, I'm not a whore. Shut up. I'm not a shekel whore. Shut up. Jesus Christ. All right. I'm a, cheers to the Northern Yankee for the $100 bill and then the fucking shekel counter over there. Let me go ahead and take a smoke for the uh, the uh, Northern Yankee, man. Cheers to you. That's it. Got to hold it in. Let it hit the brain, man. Cheers to the Northern Yankee once again, man. Ah, all right, it feels a little better, all right? Cheers to the Northern Yankee once again. Thank you for the hundo, man. I, I truly appreciate it, and cheers. Uh, but anyway, I was ta I'm talking about Iran and how there's, you know, not much enthusiasm for the current political process. Well, the Ayatollah, the current Ayatollah, he's on his way out. All right? Isn't he in his late 70s at this point? And that's why there was such big mourning by... <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Hey, Derwicking is now a member. Hey, cheers to Derwicking, man. And Urinator said, that's right, you dirty slut. Keep shaking that ass for us. Dude, shut up, asshole. Fucking Urinator, you gay sexual harasser. Anyway, cheers to Derwicking, who just became a member of the True Capitalist Radio membership, man. Cheers to you. And I just want to remind everybody, I will be in the chat room. All right, I'll be in the TCR chat room. Now, how do you get in there? All you've got to do right now is go to buymeacoffee.com slash ghostpolitics. And look at this. Uh, now you're receiving Hugh Whitebucks from the Pacific Northwest. Imperative. I guess you could say you're on public assistance now. So anyway, there it is. Once again, Derwicking, a member of the True Capitalist Radio Basic membership. All you've got to do is join right here and you will automatically be brought in to the True Capitalist Radio chat room. And look, it is 100% drama-free. 
There's no drama, internet blood sports, none of that shit. It's pure serious conversation. Pure serious conversation. So if you want to join with us and you want to be a part of the chat room box that's on the bottom left-hand corner, then by all means, man, cheers to everybody out there. And cheers to Derwicky. And Ghost Omajima, can I be grandfathered in? Well, dude, I had a problem with that last night with somebody. I don't want to talk about it. All right? I, I let somebody in from the inner circle in there, and this fucking jerk-off had the audacity to come out and say, well, you know, can I get something free? I, you know, what, what do you get? Do you get more? Yeah, yeah, I fucking kicked his ass out. What a fucking piece of... That's an inner circle member, by the way, too. So I, I don't know if I could do that shit. All right? I don't know if I could do that shit. I let one fucking guy in there, and this fucking guy wanted, like, free shit. He didn't even, he didn't even pay to get in. So fuck that. I can't do that shit anymore. All right? People are fucking like welfare recipients now. It makes me want to puke. But anyway, sorry about that. Sorry, Ghosto. All right? I I, I, I got to make uh, more visits to the Thunderdome. The only reason I don't is because I know there's a lot of fucking really sick troll bullshit that goes on in there. Anyway, cheers to Ghosto Majima, man. Anyway, I just wanted to say that Racy, the president that recently got killed in a helicopter crash, he was the Ayatollah, the current Ayatollah's. There was a bunch of countries involved with 9-11. It was meant to start the war of civilizations, which we are now currently in. <laughs> I'd buy that. And we got, we got CERN Master here. Mr. Alvine, we have investigated your refund request and have concluded that you have violated the Shack Chair's 500-pound weight limit. Ah, uh, fuck However, off. we do sell a Rosie O'Donnell 2XY 800-pound model that you might be able to use if yeah, you lose some right. weight. Yeah, right. Shut up, asshole. All right? I'm not a fucking ham bone, asshole. I know you all think that I'm fucking ham bone. I'm not, all right? Fucking jerk off. We got trolling the interwebs with another $5 rumble rat. Vote me for president. I promise it won't take 15 years to figure it out who did 9-11. Well, I mean, look, I'll be honest with you. That's how things operate, okay? That's how things operate. Devious Dave, how do I get one of those indestructible passports they found on the ground zero? That's what you don't understand. If y'all want to know when 9-11 was truly planned. Yeah, he was. He liked to show off his schlong head, you know? I don't know if y'all know that. LBJ would be like, oh, yeah? Well, if they think they're badass, and he would slap his cock on the table and say, hey, well, get a load of this. I'm not even joking around. And trolling the interweb, speaking of LBJ and number two, he used to host staff meetings while he was taking a shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. Anyway, that concludes uh, the True Capitalist Radio Show. And because we had such generous donations on this 700th episode of the True Capitalist Radio Show, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do Radio Graffiti since Radio Graffiti started on this broadcast. All right. And I don't even know if I even have the number available on here. Let me see if I even have the number here. Let me see if I can bring it on before we get to anything here, all right? Let me go ahead and see if I can bring it on. All right, here it is, the call-in number. I got it. Here we go. Let's go ahead and put it on the screen so everybody kind of knows what's going on. All right, here it is. All right, where is it? Here it is. It's about that time for everybody's favorite part of the broadcast. And I'm talking, well, not that big, Jesus Christ. Uh, Radio Graffiti! That's right, folks. Radio Graffiti, the part of the broadcast where the spectators become a part of the spectacle. All you've got to do is give us a call right now at 667-770-1015. And once the operator bitch starts talking, push in the code 844-286. And once you do, you will be in queue to be a part of Radio Graffiti. And when I call on your area code or on your name, you've got exactly four to five seconds to say whatever it is that's on your mind. That's why we call this Radio Graffiti. All right. And by the way, official shekel counter is saying I should end YouTube so I don't get flagged. I think that's actually a very good idea. I think that's actually a very good idea. So everybody on YouTube... We are going to end the stream over there. If you want to listen to Radio Graffiti, let me go ahead and put in uh, the other uh, the other feeds there. There's Rumble. 
Let me go ahead and put in the Rumble feed. Where are we at at Rumble? Here. Let me go ahead and put on Rumble so everybody knows where to go. Because I'm telling you right now, YouTube will take down whatever the hell is being said on tonight's Radio Graffiti. And we certainly don't want that. We certainly do. do, do watch out on X2, by, by the way. Well, uh, I don't know. I, they let Nick Fuentes do his shit or some shit. I, I don't know. Anyway, here it is. Let me go ahead and... Uh, Here's how to cool any room. Calm down here. All right, here it is. Here it is for everybody on YouTube. All right, here's the link. There it is right there. So if anybody wants to take a look, I put it in the chat room. And I don't know. I guess we'll go ahead. I don't want to get, I don't want to take any risk on, on X either. So let's go ahead and let everybody know on X where to go. And let's see. How many people do we have on X over there? How many people do we have? Let's take a look at this. We got almost 600 people over there on X. Put the PC shot on. Take a look at that shit. Take a look at that shit. Anyway, let's let's go ahead and... Uh, oh, it's loading the chat room here. Let me go ahead and, and paste this. All right, to anybody out there who wants to, you know... That's in the chat room right now at X here. And did that go through? It looked like... It, yeah, it went through. Okay, here it is right there. All right. Anyway, folks, let me go ahead and take that off because we certainly do not want to be, you know, kicked off of X or Twitter because of a bunch of racist pieces of trash, all right? So with that being said, everybody on X and Twitter, go to the Rumble uh, chat right now, all right? Go to the Rumble if you want to listen to Radio Graffiti, all right? Thanks to everybody on YouTube and on X for listening. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for listening, and cheers to you, all right? Now we're going to be uh, live exclusively either on Rumble or DLive, by the way. If you want to check out DLive, DLive.tv slash ghost politics, all right? DLive.tv slash ghost politics. So once again, and I'm also on Trovo if you want to be over there as well. But anyway, I'm out of here for the X stream and the YouTube stream. Thank you guys for tuning in with me. Cheers to you all. And uh, I'll see you all the next True Capitalist Radio show, all right? Cheers, baby, cheers. I'm out of (laughs) here. Woo!